Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to review the Supra Chat of Miss Supranational 2019 and this time we will be reviewing two groups and that is group two and group three. Of course, we will start with group two and the ladies in this group were Barbados, Stevie Miles, Chile, Catherine Munoz, Costa Rica, Luhan Aguilar, Vietnam, Ngoc Chao, Malta, Rebecca Pace, Nigeria, Oluchikalo, and Paraguay, Catherine Masi. As a tradition, I will be focusing only on the random questions being asked to the candidates because this is one way of determining who's really good in speech round and of course in random questions being thrown to them. Let's begin with group two, Barbados. She was asked about the coat that she liked to live by. Barbados is stunning and I'm glad she chose the color yellow because she just stood out with it. I also loved her response and her tone of voice because I sensed the sincerity in the way she responded to it. Nigeria, Oluchikalo, she was asked about the program for women that she would like to implement in her country. I am not sure if we have a problem with her microphone, but her volume of voice is a little bit too low. I loved her response though when she said that she wanted a program that will promote self-confidence for women in her country. I was expecting a more specific response though and a specific action on how it can be done. But overall, it was good. Costa Rica, Luhan Aguilar. She was asked about the most important issue of this generation. First of all, Costa Rica looks stunning and she looked very beautiful. She mentioned that bullying is the issue that we are facing. I am glad that she decided to switch to Spanish because she was able to express herself very well. And I also have to commend the lady, I mean, Miss International 2018, Valeria Vasquez, for not only being a host, but also an interpreter of Spanish-speaking delegates. And because of that, she was able to express herself very well and was able to respond beautifully. I also like the example that she cited because it was very clear example of the issue. Paraguay, Catherine Masi, she was asked about the contribution of beauty pageants to the world. Also, Paraguay got one of the best faces in the competition. Her translated answer was okay. I just wish she went deeper into it. Vietnam, Ngoc Chao. She was asked to choose between beauty and brain. Which will she choose? Of course, she chose brain. And I am not sure, but I am 100%... I am not 100% convinced with her answer. I get her point, but I think this also bordering... A cliche answer. Chile, Catherine Munoz, she was asked about why she wanted to become a nurse and what's her good and bad, bad experience being a nurse. Chile responded very well and it went very, very well because it is more of a personal question where she just needs to express her experience, which is quite different from others. However, overall, I think her response is good, but not on a wow level. I mean, it's good, but... It's just satisfyingly good. I hope you get my point. Malta, Rebecca Pace. She was asked about Malta's hidden treasures for visitors. Malta is the most pleasant surprise of this interview. She wasn't in my radar at all, but she was just super stunning at this interview round. Plus, her response is very natural. I loved her personality, honesty, and sincerity. And she seems effortless in talking about her love for her country. So for this round, instead of ranking all of them, I will just announce my top three favorites from every group moving forward. So my bases are beauty, aura, personality, and most of all, their responses, giving more weight to their answers. So for this group, my third place goes to Chile, Catherine Munoz, second place, Barbados, Stevie Miles, and my winner for group two is Malta, Rebecca Pace. Now let's proceed to group three. The ladies in this group were Albania, Arta Selai, Croatia, Helena Kernetic, England, Kirsty Lechundi, Germany, Daria Koch, Namibia, Jana Hainish, Scotland, Amy McGarvey, and Singapore, Naomi Huth. Singapore was asked 
which influential person she would like to meet. She mentioned Chelsea Kawai. I'm not sure if I pronounced the last name correctly, who is a travel blogger. Pageant-wise, I don't think Singapore would do very well, simply because I think there are many ladies whom I think are better than her. But her response to this question and my assumption on how she will do an interview could probably make some shift in the entire competition because she was so natural and content wise her answer was solid strong she seems like a very sweet and intelligent woman aside from that the way she responded to the question is very effortless it feels like i truly agree with her that it truly came from her heart because there's no time where i think she is just pretending or something it was very very good and i can feel the sincerity in it scotland she was asked, why is mental health as important as physical health? I like her answer. It was short, but direct to the point. Namibia. She was asked if her work is more important than having a strong country sash. Namibia is just super stunning, and I am glad she delivered when it comes to beauty. Her response was also good, but I'm not feeling the confidence and conviction in her response and I am not completely satisfied. Her answer was great, but it could be better. Croatia. She was asked about the best advice she received from someone. Her response was also good. Same as Scotland. It was short, but it hits the bullseye right away. Germany. She was asked when is a woman truly successful? I love how confident she was in delivering her answer. Although there are moments where her words are cutting on and off, but overall it was a very, very decent answer. Albania was asked if she will be born in a different country. Where would it be and why? First of all, Albania looked very, very young, very, very fresh, and very, very sweet. Her answer was very honest, and her answer wasn't the strongest, but I truly understood why she gave that response. England was asked about her opinion about contestants who only want to be judged by beauty. I really like England's answer as well. If I will be answering that question, she definitely said what I have in my mind, which is why I truly love her response very, very much. It was very specific, and at the same time, it doesn't go around the bush. It hits the question right away, plus she gave some more additional commentaries, which I really, really love to listen to. So based on these Supra chats, my top three favorites for group three are third place, Germany. My second place is England. And my winner for group three is, surprise, surprise, Singapore. Naomi Huth, I know it might be a challenge because the result is based in voting, but hopefully, I am hoping that the rightful woman will be the winner of each group. So that's it. What do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.